All right, on to our last part of this section. We're going to simplify complex fractions. And these look really intimidating um, because they are intimidating. We've got fractions and fractions within fractions. And so we're going to have two different methods we can use. First method is we're going to simplify the top, simplify the bottom. Simplify top and bottom. And then what you'll have is a fraction over a fraction. And so then what we'll do is multiply by the reciprocal because that's what dividing fractions are. So let's do that. In order to do that, we need common denominators up top. Only denominator is x. So I'm going to make this x. So this is 2 over 1. It needs to be multiplied by x. So top and bottom by x. So we get 4 over x plus 2 times x is 2x over x. On the bottom is 8 over 1. I want it to be a 2x to have the common denominator with that one, so I'm going to multiply it by 2x. So 1 over 2x minus 8 times 2 is 16x over 2x. So we get... 2x plus 4, and I'm just writing it in standard form, divided by x over, and this is this fraction on top, and then 1 minus 16x, or negative 16x plus 1 over 2x. And so then what we do is we flip and multiply <coughs> by the reciprocal. 2x plus 4 over x times the reciprocal of the bottom. And so we have 2x over negative 16x plus 1. Here's when we go back to last section. We've got common factors on top and on bottom that cancel out. And then we have 2 times 2x plus 4, which is 4x plus 8. And on the bottom, negative 16x plus 1. One. No common factors on top or bottom, and so that's our first method. Simplify the top, simplify the bottom, and multiply by the reciprocal. Our second method is going to be multiply the top and bottom, numerator, denominator, by the lowest common denominator. So, the lowest common denominator between top and bottom. So, what is that going to be? Top is x, the bottom is 2x, and so the lowest common denominator is going to be 2x. So I'm going to multiply the top by 2x, and multiply the bottom by 2x. Sometimes it's easier to see if you think of it as 2x over 1, and 2x over 1. So we're going to get 4 over x times 2x plus 2 times 2x. All divided by 1 over 2x times 2x minus our 8 times our 2x. So what happens is all of the denominators cross out because we set it up to do that. The x and the x cross out, and 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2x and 2x cross out, leave 1. And negative 8 times 2x is negative 16x. And so it's equivalent to our other answer over here. And if you really want to see it, just flip over. We get 4x plus 8 over negative 16x plus 1. And it's ultimately the same. Don't care what form those are in. So we'll do one more with our first method and then another one with our second method. Back to our first method. I'm going to start off by factoring x plus 5 because it'll make it um, easier in the end. So 2 over x plus 5 plus 1 over 4 times x plus 5. So, common denominator up top, well, that's already combined. On the bottom, 
this has x plus 5, this has x plus 5, this one has an extra 4, and so I'm going to multiply that first one by 4 over 4. So you get 2 over 3 times x plus 5 divided by 8 over 4 times x plus 5 plus 1 over 4 times x plus 5. And so we're going to combine those and get 9. The next step is going to be multiplying by the reciprocal. And so let me fill in this middle step. So flip it, multiply by the reciprocal, 2 over 3x, 3 times x plus 5, times 4 times x plus 5 over 9. So they have an x plus 5 in common, so we can cross those out. And 2 times 4 is 8. And 3 times 9 is 27. So all of the x's canceled out, and we were left with just x over 27. 8 and 27 don't have anything in common because that's 2 times 2 times 2 and 3 times 3 times 3. All right, last example. So we've got, first step I'm going to take is to factor both of these. Again, this is difference of squares. One over x plus three plus one over x minus three. Okay, I'm not going to show as many steps in this one. Notice that there's x plus threes and x minus threes all over the place, and so our lowest common denominator, this has the most in it. So let's start there. X minus three, x plus three. Um, x minus 3 repeat, x plus 3 is a repeat, and so this is our lowest common denominator. And that's what we're going to multiply top and bottom by. And we're going to get x plus 3, x minus 3, going to multiply on top, and x plus 3, x minus 3 get multiplied on the bottom. And so, when you take that times this one, x plus 3, x minus 3 cancels out. You get a 4. Whole denominator cancels out. That was the whole reason we did it. In this one, x minus 3's cancel out, and you're left with 2 times x plus 3, because our x minus 3's canceled out. On the bottom, x plus 3's cancel each other out. You're left with 1 times x minus 3, or just x minus 3. x minus 3's cancel each other out here, and you're left with 1 times x plus 3, or just x plus 3. Now, simplify. 4 plus 2x plus 6 over x and x make 2x. Negative 3 and 3 cancels each other out. So we get 2x plus 10 divided by 2x. And so then we have a 2 times x plus 5, because I noticed that they all have a 2 in them. And then 2x. Cancel out the common factor of 2, and you're left with x plus 5 over x. And that wraps it up. So two methods you can do there. Use either or. I don't care.